Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have some comedy to go with the usual stories, as it looks like the weird MGK and Megan Fox stories that's been making the news recently aren't enough for the former rapper to stay in the spotlight. And a few hours ago, he decided to quote lyrics that point to Eminem's classic The Way I Am, and many have reacted online and have urged the rapper to please stay away. And we'll dive into why that is in a bit, as we could have some horrible news on the way. We also have more on the aftermath of the Eminem drama on social media that hit new heights thanks to Dr. Dre's post after the Super Bowl ad that stated Eminem vs Who? And the Eminem show received its biggest boost in the United States in 5 years. And we have more that shows Eminem's music continues to age like fine wine thanks to Curtin Call's numbers in 2022 so far. And before we dive into the details, if you enjoy content like this, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and find me on social media at ET Lifestyle underscore web. So while everyone, including rappers, had things to say about the Dr. Dre post of Eminem vs Who, we saw a slew of haters talk about how pretty much anyone beats Eminem in a versus. And while this debate were going on, something else was happening, and in the United States it goes. Eminem's The Eminem Show re-enters this week's Billboard 200 chart at number 73. It marks the album's highest placement on the chart since 2017. So essentially, the harder social media tries to drive the point that Eminem's music aged badly, the higher his numbers go. And in reaction to this, a user expands, it's hard to believe that Eminem is still peaking since I was in high school in 2002. Nobody can match his longevity, a true definition of a living legend. And under other reports of this, some are predicting that's gonna jump into the top 20 after the Super Bowl. And another user added, this dude firepower is mental, that album is 20 years old. Over on Reddit for instance, some still remember the tragedies of the 21st and 28th, hence takes like this in reaction to the Eminem show's oost. Em, you said you got butter fingers, but I don't see anything dropping. And some have expanded, the Eminem show is so timeless, it ain't even funny, doesn't sound that outdated 20 years later. And here's the kicker, what's even better is that the majority of it was self-reduced alongside Jeff Bass. And for the month of January, Eminem's current call moved over 50,000 units in the United States and is currently in the top 50 best-selling albums of 2022 so far, according to Hit's Daily Double. So it's long overdue that the statement, in quotes, Eminem's music aged badly, become a meme just like in quotes, no one listens to Eminem. And moving on a few hours ago, MGK shared a tweet alluding to Eminem's The Way I Am, and you might be wondering why he was urged to stay away. And that's because something already happened last week when he covered Frank Ocean's song Swim Good. Hence the post, I am whatever you say I am, winking face tongue out emoji, who sparked reactions like, you already ruined the Frank Ocean's song this week, please leave Eminem's music alone, folded hands emoji. Well, this won't be the first time, as many can remember this, when he took the time to fly to Detroit for this. It's only right, right? Hence more along these lines, leave him and his songs alone. Another one, don't, just don't. And although I'm not interested in his cover of Frank Ocean Swim Good, but seeing some of the popular reactions, I don't know if it's trolling, but here you go. I can defend blood drinking, weird antics on red carpet, and all kinda ish. However, ruining a Frank Ocean song is unforgivable. And some have concluded, I swear, if he does a cover of The Way I Am, I can promise you, it will be awful. But on a side note, some are wondering, what the F? This fool really desperate for attention. What? Megan ain't giving him enough? You have to give it up to MGK, he really swayed people's opinions on Megan from hot to cringe in a matter of months, and that Eminem clout remains addictive, the user expands. You know it's time to sell an album when this loser references Eminem, and another expands on this, poking the bear again I see, must have an album coming out, and some on Reddit are quite confident, he's gonna cover the way I am. And heading back to Twitter, it's quite hilarious. Eminem's best song, I know that's right. I knew you were a stan all along. Like this is news or something. When Kells has made it known for years with tweets like, I'm an Eminem stan for sure. That if the Lose Yourself cover didn't give it away. And stakes like, this guy is still a stan laughing emoji. It's a common theme for those who've had squabbles with Eminem. El Jamal literally admitted Eminem's better than him, a statement that shouldn't come from a, in quotes, gatekeeper of hip-hop. Nick Cannon still ranks Eminem top 2 on his all-time favorite rappers list, 
and Kells is still a stand, and we may have some in quotes horror on the way if suggestions turn out to be true. That will be all for now. Share your thoughts below. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next one.